I told my brother to go get my mom. I said, all right, as soon as my motherfucking mama come down, this, <laughs> as soon as my mama come down, this bitch, I'm finna swag on your ass. She can go down to any movement, like, get on my way, yeah. To be honest, shit, yeah, nah, nah, dude. Yeah. yeah, that shit ain't no joke. He came around to get fucking off. Yeah, yeah gonna get put in the body bag. One, three, double zero, mostly avenue. <laughs> It's T the motherfucking goddess and we are in Blimp Town, Paper City. I'm gonna take y'all around my hood, show y'all some popular spots, just show y'all what the fuck be going on in Palaka, Florida. It's pretty quiet around here. It don't be a lot of shit going on, but honestly, it get popping everywhere around Palaka. But these are like some old people homes and shit, but y'all, y'all know when you see them bricks, you already know what that means. But we used to hang out down here all the fucking time. But I honestly, I, don't, I really don't come to Palaka like that no more. So I don't really, no youngins don't hang out around this bitch no more. Cause we was really the young kids. So once we left this bitch, you really wasn't no more kids. The damn Sherby lady used to live over here, but she passed away, RIP Miss Lockhart. They done turned this shit back here into a damn homeless. What was it before? It was just woods and stuff like how it is now. Nobody lived in there. Nobody lived in there. It was just straight woods, but they done put a trail through that bitch now. But yeah, we used to just hang up, hang out over here and shit. Every, literally, I had a block party out this bitch one time. That bitch was from my mama house all the way down here to this damn park. Like we down this bitch. That was the first, first time I got high. First time I got drunk. Damn, airplane wood one flow. But. First time I got high, first time I got drunk, just first time I really just got lit for real. <laughs> but a lot of shit done went down in this damn part, man. R.I.P. motherfucking Nate. That nigga used to be down this bitch. Whole South Side. A, listen, we a small city, but every small city had they groups, they cliques, they, they size. That's just what it is. I guess just as a black people, we very territorial, yeah. whether we own the shit or not. So that's what the vibes was we used to this used to be a park for real we used to be hanging at this park i done beat a couple bitches ass at this park for real like uh. Uh, they <laughs> took the park down yeah, yeah they took it away it was this church right here these so it's two churches this one that is at this lower level and then there's one that's up this is the type of shit i would want to invest in to create something so that the kids can have something to do like it's not enough basketball courts there's not enough recreational things for us to do like triangle park literally triangle park is the best park in palaka and that shit is way on the other side of palaka what kids finna walk to that park like who is it's not easily accessible so we just need more stuff everywhere because it's a lot of kids that live around here but it's like where they at? ain't nobody outside because it ain't shit for them to do or over here what would you want to um invest in if you could have like put some here i know you said you would like a park anything else I mean, so I'm really for the future. So I really want to invest in the kids. Like we need more pro programs. Like when I was coming up, we had stuff like weed and seed and stuff. So I just want to create programs that will benefit the kids. Like even programs that teach them trades, just things to keep them busy, help them learn and just keep their ass out of trouble. I feel you. But yeah, our, our schools need a lot of help. So pouring money into the schools like this rap shit ain't just about rapping it's really about the understanding of what comes with it like i know <laughs> when i get to the level that i'm trying to reach i'll be able to take care of a lot of shit and i'm starting with the kids i feel like that's our future that's who we really need to be focused on right now because a lot of these grown motherfuckers they set in their ways already like that's why I grew up the way that I grew up. Like, literally, we was just, we was outside. <laughs> we was hanging out. We was doing shit we had no business doing right right here in this area where ain't shit at, so. Is there anything you got, like, memory-wise that you remember out here doing? <laughs> Damn. I'll tell y'all about a fight I had. So, boom. I live over here for real. You feel me? Like, I really, I, it wasn't no... Once we moved into that house, we don't. My mom probably we moved in that house. Damn, I don't know. Probably like 2006 or something like that. So I'm really from around here. 
So, some people who was just house hopping, it was a lot of their ass too, but we was all young. They was around my age range, above my age and lower. It was just a lot of their ass. So, they was living like over there or whatever with somebody else. So, the oldest one, he, he claimed he was a crip, I guess, or a blood. I don't even remember what color the fucking bandana was. But all I know is I walked down here and he had his motherfucking bandana tied on my park. So I politely untied the bandana and gave it back to him because I'm like, at the end of the day, this is a church. This is not anyone's property. You can't just come say that this is your shit. Child, he ain't like that. And his old lady ain't like it. And I ain't give a fuck. I was low-key a little bit problematic when I was young. I really didn't care. So it was on some shit like fuck y'all whatever y'all want to do we can do it so i just ended up taking the shit off giving it to him or whatever the girl ended up talking shit man they think you know so they was having it was like a wednesday because they was having um bible study or whatever so they had it for the kids so my brother didn't walked out i told my brother to run down the street and go get my mama because y'all bitches ain't finna jump me i had two other people with me and wow they might have fallen I ain't taking no chances. So I told my brother to go get my mom. I said, all right, as soon as my motherfucking mama come down, this, <laughs> as soon as my mama come down, this bitch, I'm finna sway on your ass, bro. Literally, my mama came running down this bitch. My mama, my stepdaddy, whoever the hell else was at my house, man. All I know is I ran up on that big hoe. Boop, 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 boop. And it was, she was a, she was a big bitch. This was, and that's why K Nell ho put fear in my heart, cause that was a big bitch. But man, we got to fight in, man. We tearing it up. I get tired. I'm like, mom, I'm tired. My mama, get off my daughter, ho. Snatched ass, child. They, they, listen. One thing God never be. I know I'm talking a lot. One thing God never be is a weak ass ho. This bitch, literally, my mama snatched her daughter. This bitch wanna talk to my mama. Bitch, ain't no talking. You done snatched my daughter. Now I gotta get on your ass. So, child, it was a lot going on. We was trying to, they was running. After I beat her ass, I was trying to beat the rest of their ass. Ain't nobody wanted. They done ran up the hill. Child, it was a, it was a crazy ass day. I think the man, somebody done shot a gun. His ass ended up going to jail. Like, it was a lot. All over some children. All over a child thinking that he can fake gang bang and own the park. Crazy. That's that Palaka shit, though. Word. <laughs> So for like the people that are not from out here, how big is this uh, the, the city? Muy pequeño. So how how long would it take you to get around in a car? In other words, like the whole city itself. Shit. Okay, so from one end to the other, I say probably like 15 minutes if I was going from west to east or the other way around. Um, if I was going from south to north, I would say probably about 10 minutes. So it's super small, like super duper small so yeah but i appreciate being from a small town because when you from a small town you have the opportunity to form into that beautiful butterfly you don't you don't have a whole bunch of people around you even though that it's like that in every city like there is pressures there's standards that people create trying to make you be a certain way but here is just like i really felt like i was able to truly be myself tap into myself we didn't now, while we did talk shit about people just because we country, but we don't just do shit like play outside in the dirt and shit with no shoes. Like, we ain't that type of country, but we is a little bit more slowed down. We like big wheels. We like loud music. We like we like to turn up. We like to get drunk. We like country shit. We like to go fishing, shrimping, crabbing, shit, you name it. We like to do that, but we also get on your ass. <laughs> we also get on your ass. And we really just, we just some cool ass people, man. When we don't have that small mind, small town mentality, cause that's a real thing. That small town, that small town mindset is so, it's so strong and it has affected so many people, but it ain't affect me. That's one city God is, that's why I can stand here and be me and do me like regardless. Cause a lot of these motherfuckers really don't even like me or none of that because I chose to not be the normal Palakian yeah. and just stay here. But shit, it is what it is, man. Like, somebody got to do it. Shit. And don't be mad at me because I chose to. Because <laughs> I chose to go do that shit. So. For sure. This field over here, is it a school or what is that over there? So that's a school. That's Mosley Elementary. Um, Mosley is old as hell. One of Palakka's oldest elementary schools. They have, um, during the summer, they have Pop Warner over here. So this is where all the, like, 
football players and cheerleaders meet up and stuff to practice from like ages four to like high school ninth grade type shit i think so yeah it is certain shit to do in palaka like i did grow up playing doing pop warner i did cheerleading so they still have it yeah they still have it but it's so much smaller and that's so but also there's also now there's the mighty ducks but the mighty ducks is popping now and that's also black owned as well so mighty ducks is dope as hell is there any other so black owned businesses around here that you know about man it's a lot of fucking black owned businesses um calvin lewis has um damn what is this one shot called fuck you have to edit it. <laughs> what the fuck is this barbershop called? Hold up. Oh. Uh, so, New Look. That's what it's called. Boom. Calvin Lewis has New Look Cuts and Styles. Um, I know Tamiria King, she's a hairstylist. She's from here, but she and she does a, she doesn't live here anymore, but she does a lot of people's hair who are from here. Um Sign Gypsy, Sunshine Neely does that. That's if you need a sign for any celebration, she got you. Um, who else? I have a sister who's also from here, Tarshanelle. She makes shirts, so literally she can print. Not only shirts, backpacks, cups, anything you need made, she can make. Like, there are so many businesses here. Like, there, there's honestly anything you can name. Missy King does real estate. Shout out to her. Who cooks? Um, Brian Williams. He makes some dope ass fried crap. Shout out to him. Who else? Free my motherfucking cousin, Chubby. You feel me? Yeah. Free my motherfucking cousin. He locked up right now because of a pussy nigga. A pussy nigga wanted to tell on my dog, but I guess that was that's what come with it. But at the same time, it's like if you niggas are just keep it real, these motherfuckers crackers that have to do their job. But you niggas want to get out here and do their job for them, pussy. Because you ain't know how to play the game. Crazy. Got any memories over here? <sighs> like old friends? I ain't gonna lie. We used to be bad as fuck. Like, so we used to be in this old people that live in this bitch. So we used to be over this bitch playing nigga now. We used to wait till it get dark. We used to do all kind of shit. Wait till it get dark around around this bitch throwing shoes at people windows. All kind of shit. Just... But yeah, shit, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie, I got a best friend. Well, she ain't my best friend no more, obviously, but she, she moved down this bitch. I don't know, she moved down this bitch when she was young, but we came, we became best friends in like sixth grade or whatever. We became the second, she stayed down the street. And then she ended up moving literally to the side of my house. And we just got locked in or whatever. And all my damn dirt I used to do, I used to do it with her. I don't give a damn what it was. It don't matter what it was. Everything I used to do, I used to do with her. So we done got in some, into some shit together. Into some shit, out of some shit, you name it. But she ended up, she moved She moved back to Delaware because I guess her mama felt like she was doing too much because she was talking to boys. But her mama was her mama went and shit. But her mama made her move to Delaware because she was talking to niggas and shit. And then let her come back. Let her come back. She practically different. She fucking mo now. Nah. Uh, I'm saying, you know, it's paper on, city. I've been here for a long, long time. And you know, we do our thing here. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Okay. So, you know, represent P time, you know. So has it changed it. after the years? How many? Has it changed over the years? Oh the area? Oh, it's 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 changed a whole lot. I mean they build they building more more stores, you know, building more restaurants, you know. They doing great. They need some stuff for the kids, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than for that, sure. It's cool. Man. I love it. Do you like it that it's a small town? Do you want it to get bigger? Like, you know, I'm from Orlando, Kissimmee oh. area. Do you, would you want it to get like that? that? Big? Yeah. Or would you rather have it stay like this, how it is? Uh, I like it like this. Yeah. I like it like this. Why? Because it's it's, it's slow. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It ain't too, because the city, everybody knows the city faster. You know, you move faster, things happen faster. You know what I'm saying? So, for sure. you know, it, it's, I like it like this. It's smooth, it's relaxing, cool. Everybody know everybody, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's cool, bro. For sure, for sure. All right, one more question before I get up out of here. Do you think there's a lot um, business opportunities out here for people? Um, It is, but it should be more. I believe it should be more, but it, it is. It's, it's a couple of good jobs out here, you know. Like I say, it's, it's building up. 
You know what I'm saying? They got, they got more stores that kids can get jobs and stuff at. But other than that, it, it's, 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 it just need more bigger companies here. Yeah, my for thing, sure. My thing, you know. When something happened out here, it probably be some crazy shit. Cause don't nothing really happen out here like that. So yeah. if it do, it's probably some some off the wall going on. Somebody who on there live around this bitch for real probably causing hell cause it's one of the most peaceful peaceful parts of town, honestly. Even though it get a little <laughs> No inside of town had them little group of motherfuckers who wanna be super bad. Yeah. But for the most part, yeah. Somebody came out here to come and get something to eat. What would you tell them to go check out? Damn. Um, shit. Who black that sell food? Who black that got a restaurant? Oh, hell. I don't know, man. Shit. Duke. Okay, boom. If somebody came to Palaska to get something to eat, <laughs> I will refer them to Duke's Crab Shack, I think it's called. His ass been selling crabs for years, damn near my whole life, and it, they just get better and better. They taste good as fuck. Real flavorful, real buttery. You know, you get you get your bank for your book. How long you been living out here? Too long. Too long? Like over 20 years? No man. <laughs> oh, man. No. Okay, okay, for sure. Y'all all right? Yeah, we just hanging. She showing me around the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I gotta show the city out, man, so people can know what it is out here. They already know. They already know. They already know. <laughs> for sure, for sure. It just ain't a part of it. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Hey, it's all good. All right, have a good day. God bless you all. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, people real. It's like ain't used to it. Huh? Yeah, you know, it's real country. Like we got hospitality, but it's like when people see foreign shit, they get acting weird. So it ain't people around here doing this. Yeah. Ain't nobody around here doing this. Like I feel weird when I'm in Jacksonville and I'm fucking sitting on my tripod in places where I know this is a common thing. But it's like being here, everybody gonna look at you like you crazy because it's like. Ain't nobody walking around with no cameras around this bitch. Making mm -hmm. history. So that's right. I'm trailblazing for real. Like, and that's why I don't really be tripping on how they be acting for real because I know that they ain't never seen nobody do the shit that I be doing. So I just gotta prove it to them. And that's all. Yeah. And they they gonna fall in line. So I ain't tripping. <laughs> Where we at right now? We at motherfucking Five Point. I mean, the OGs know this as Five Point, but then they changed it to Jazz. And now with Maria Foods at Five Point. So, yeah, but I used to go to Beasley, which is over there through the little trees and shit. And there they used to walk home, come here, get snacks. They got the best salads. Hey, if you know, you know they got the best salads in Palakia, and then they got the best homemade brownies brownies in that bitch too like this just what we just come at get a couple dollars get a few cents we're gonna scrape it up and we're gonna walk down here and spend everything we done made <laughs> you were saying that they changed the name a couple of times over here what was the original name for five points five hey points. man go ahead my cousin the best man check out her rock shit man i still look at you love you car i love you too cuz you up where's this located what's, what's the address here my address to the the, the store uh this uh one three double zero mostly avenue okay outside tap national guard um i have a five year old give video of my phone you yeah see? come on let's go check it out really yeah let's okay, go okay i come in i pick customer then i come okay come on go. i'm taking yeah go ahead let's see you feel me this is so this though ain't really changed much at all that like they got like little extra little fridges here but all these shelves these shelves and shit same old shelves same old everything even these coolers 
been here since I was in fucking middle school. Probably before that, to be honest. I honestly ain't never ordered nothing out of none of these. I ain't never seen no food in that bitch. But this way all the magic happened. Best salad in Palapa. You feel me? Made right back here. They got good subs. They got good burgers. They got they got good food here. But y'all know that's that's the hood stores for the hood. I went to I went to Beasley Middle School, so if you went to Beasley, then you really know about this stove for real. Cause that means you grew up on the south side. And that mean, yeah. You a Southside baby. <laughs> but yeah. She Beasley was pretty straight. Like it wasn't that hood. It's crazy though because a lot of hood kids went there, but Beasley still wasn't even though somebody did try to burn school down one time, but it still wasn't that bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. But Beasley's still better than Jenkins. Even though they done made Jenkins a whole nother school, Beasley ain't even, it's Beasley even a school and I think it's a sixth grade center now. So they done switched up everything in Palaka. So we don't even have those two as middle schools anymore. So how long you been working here? Because I've been living over here for a long time. I've been coming to this store for a very long time. Uh, I work here uh, seven months. Oh, seven months. How about our daily item? You, you, you take this one video. Okay. This is more important. Oh, got a daily item. Yeah, turkey, fresh turkey, fresh ham, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, pickle, olive. Got the menu right here. Yeah, this up one leaf, all soft, six inches of eight ninety nine, but. Any people show video, then you come in store, he take only seven dollar, two dollar okay. discount. Okay. Yeah. Anybody okay. who comes show the video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any people, he say he show video and he come and he buy some food, then he have lot of discount. Okay. Regular item one dollar discount or soft salad two dollar discount. Got the best deals out here. Yeah, best deal. Have fresh meat. Everything fresh. You take wholesale order, then I give wholesale. And you take some, then I give some, no problem. <laughs> Where? Okay, okay. Yeah, have, uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, have brownie. Brownie. Oh, yeah, see these, now these the infamous brownie right here. These the, yeah. the best brownies in the city. Okay? Yeah, have yeah, brownie. Come on. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh. have all meat. This fresh meat. I bring every week meat. Got have ham, turkey, roast beef, chicken. This minus. Have any flavor beer. Champion, Getona. You got all the beers here. Yeah, all beer. Whatever beer. you need. Oh. Yeah, I think so, yeah. T-shirt, T-shirt. Yeah, I see that. G-Man. Yeah, yeah. G-Man. All sizes have. All sizes have. Small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL, 5XL. Yeah, have black, white. You want any other color, then have back side. I give any other color, no problem. Yeah, cigar all the boss. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Tobacco products? Yeah, tobacco products have here. Okay. For sure. You need anything, you come over here, you can come and yeah. grab it. Anytime. This no need tax, only regular price. Regular no need price. tax, only regular price. Have all kind papers, paper, everything. He got backwoods. He got gravel leaves. He got backwoods. Yeah, job Bob Marley raw, 1.5, 1 point. Have honey, reno choco. Have honey, reno choco. Or have ginseng, ginseng. Only 
95 cent each only 95 cent each got you got the uh, tobacco right here too the dip the yeah. dip right here Copenhagen's yeah this Copenhagen long cut only nine dollar only nine dollar Hey, what's up, boss? Good to have it. See, I got lots of them. That counts. And I got a neck tap. So that counts. Skewed. Skewed. <laughs> That's my brother, y'all. Okay, so I've been coming to this store before him. Uh, even all his homeboys. That was my homeboys first. Like, I, I'm the one. Uh, I used to be have to be out there dreading this shit. Not him. I made the name. Then he came. He, he kept. He, he kept. He did good, he did good, he did good. But I, I, I had to listen. You know even my saying? sister, even I had a, I had a reputation to uphold as well because of my damn sister because she wanted to fight the whole world. So I had to fucking fight too. And it just trickled down, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah. We're gonna come get you in the, yeah. in the up. Yeah. I want him to say something on the vlog, but him. Who? Lil. What you want me to say on the vlog? I can tell him, boy, about the south side. Yeah, go ahead. Stop talking about that. Let him know, you know what about I'm saying? This really like, this really like the chill part of the time. You feel me? Motherfucker come over here when they want to vibe. Shit laid back, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about everything. But don't get me wrong, now. Shit can go down at any moment. Like, get on my way, yeah. To be honest, shit. Nah, nah, dude. Yeah, that shit ain't no joke. He came around to get fucking off. Yeah, yeah gonna get put in the body bag. Yeah, fucking around. It really don't matter what time. Cause like he said, it's pretty calm around here, but this still a hey, Palaka Palaka. It don't matter what. Wherever you have somebody fucked up at, that's where you gonna get Tell dealt with it. It don't matter where you are. You with your grandma, you with your baby, <laughs> boy, don't even matter. But these niggas ain't got no morals. No, no. It's sad, but it's the truth, man. I mean, but that's how it be. And not necessarily in small cities, but in the inner city, because like the outskirts of Palaka ain't that bad, cause it's more country, it's a whole bunch of woods. But baby, these little hoods that we don't, that we got, baby, they is fucking vicious. Niggas getting killed right in their mama front door. So I ain't gonna lie, shit, really the outskirts, shit, that way it be, that way shit, see, like we for the bitch, this shit love for, we all really country nigga, like we go out that bitch. Take the dirt bikes out that bitch shit. We're gonna hunt out this bitch. Fish and everything. You name, you name yeah, anything that could be caught. You better believe. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all be nigga. seeing bears out here? Hell yeah. Yeah, we be seeing bears. You gotta go more this way. You gotta go more this way. Yeah, deeper into the woods. It's, 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 it's more residential in this part of the city, but once you, shit, you ain't gotta go fight. You go five minutes this way, you ain't gonna see nothing but trees. Yeah, you That's gonna it. see shit but trees. Shit. What is that? It Rolling cut Hills? off Rolling Hills. Them motherfuckers the city back cut off back at there. Rolling Hills, yeah. Yeah. See, but it's like, this the south side, but we got deep south, which is Rolling Hills. Yeah, Rolling Hills, deep then, south. What's good? <laughs> hey, them a partner right here, dog. Them a partner right here, dog. He get on my nerves. Hey, hey, that's big money right there. We trying to get like him. That's big money. Rats right to the ceiling. Come on, you feel me? This, this is just a, this a small, a very small. Understand me when I tell you, Palaka is a small city, but we we pack a large punch. So what I have showed y'all really ain't shit compared to all of the shit that we really be having going on down here. Cause Palaka really be having a lot of shit going on. Like it's a lot of life. Contrary to what the people who currently live here say, cause everybody fucking hate it. But it ain't that bad. Hey girl! But it ain't that bad. You know, life is what you make it. And me just being me, I do plan on pouring into the city, actually building shit so we can have something. So every time we ask somebody about Palaka, they ain't saying they ain't shit. They gonna be like, oh, Palaka got this and Palaka got that. So. Yeah, man, Blimp Town, Paper City, 386. You feel me? See the goddess gonna put y'all on the motherfucking map. You hear me?